Just to get a feel for what we're doing here, we can see there's three main categories, operating, investing, financing. Then you got the net, net cash increase for the period and the cash at the end of the period. That 4,063.52 dollars should tie out to what's on the balance sheet at the end of the period. So if I go back on over here, you got to pull out the trusty calculator because if there's something in undeposited funds, then you got to pick that up. So here we've got cash of 2001 plus you've got the undeposited funds here plus the 2062.52. There's the 406352, which ties out to the statement of cash flows. So in that sense, you could say, okay, the statement of cash flow kind of ties into the cash. It's giving you more detail on the cash balance. But that's really way too simplified a thought process because it's kind of like a bank reconciliation in that we're not just looking at the cash balance by checking the transactions on a cash flow basis. We're basically looking at the whole, you know, accounting system on a cash flow basis type of system. So you can kind of think of it as if you went to the balance sheet over here and we think of the income statement as basically a breakout of the equity section, which is assets minus liabilities. Now we're kind of reversing everything and we're kind of breaking out in accordance with the cash flow accounts to see the detail how we got to the current position in cash flow, beginning balance, cash flow, what happened during the period, mainly income statement activities, but on a cashed basis to get us to the uh, ending point that we are at. Okay, so back to the statement of cash flow. So we've got these three major categories of the statement of cash flows. The operating activities is by far typically the largest category that we have. And you can think of it kind of like the income statement, our operating activities type of thing on a cash flow basis. Although most of the time we use what we call an indirect method, reconciling net income on the income statement to net income on the statement of cash flows or operating activities. Then we have financing activities, which typically deals with the purchase of fixed assets because that's, that's I'm sorry, investing activities, which typically has to do with the purchase of fixed assets. And then we've got the financing activities, which typically has to do how we're gonna finance the business, which might include the owner putting money into the business or taking out loans, paying off loans, paying dividends or uh, owner's equity. So these are the cash flow 